Or else now what I want to do is I want to focus on understanding now. I feel fatigue. I feel it's very cold around here. And all I can do now is just focus on myself over here. But guess what? I'm learning, man. I'm learning something different. I see how it feels to just live life differently, man. I see it's much better to live alone than with other people. I feel I feel fatigue. And guess what? I feel I have to go just upload content to online. Yeah, I mean that's the best I can do, man. I feel I understand that no matter what that I just do my greater way of life over here. But I'm just a remaining professional, I'm just doing something to help my life to succeed. But a woman can never fulfill me and their looks can never fulfill me either. But them going for me can never fulfill me. I mean guess what? I mean them going for me can never fulfill me either. <laughs> I mean, what fulfills me then? I mean, just the words I speak. Wish that's the way. Wish them, I'm sure all of them having sex with me. It never fulfills me again. Wish it never does fulfill me again. Because it's like food and drink, man. I mean, other people chasing me is like food and drink chasing me, man. Wish that's the best way to say, huh? Wish that's how it is, man. Wish other people chasing me is like food and drink chasing me, man. Which it never does fulfill me, man. I feel that no more. I feel hypno. I, mean, I feel in a way that I have to go see this now. Which that means go sleep, man. Which that means just go fall asleep, mate. Which that feels the fatigue, mate. Which that's like, whoa. I mean, what's going on? I mean, there's like big compact thing going on. But I never even want to move, mate. And why is that? I mean, it just means fucking it's so cold around here. Where's it really? <coughs> Unfortunately, now, guess what? I have to charge my technology, man. I have to charge my technology anyway, mate. Well, that'll be all right. But as I grow myself differently, I'm learning to just become more. I love I. As I become more, I'm learning the art of just persuading myself to succeed differently to just see <coughs> different aspects of life and what a life this is man i mean it's more have to have to realize my word i mate i understand that mate uh, at least have the socket next to me man see the socket's right next to me man oh gosh, a little bit of for sure, though, I've at least done some busking performances today in front of people, and I learned something about people today. I learned how to fucking do something to help myself to succeed, but that's the thing, man. I, I've learned how it is to give $1,200 to have zero people at my event after being after I've been promoting my event. And, huh, Roshu busking performance is much better here. But guess what, Roshu? I'm not sure how I feel, man. That no matter what, I learned something here. I learned if people never come to my events to make me money, mate. Then guess what? I have to go other ways to make myself money only. And then they force me to do that. And guess what? I move up, man. I just shh. I make I make money other ways, man. A little bit away. And then they never deserve what I have, mate. The success. Well, sure, that's it. Because sure, they never want to give me money because they give Coca Cola money, and they never want to give me money, huh? Well, sure, they're selfish. Sure, they're selfish bastards. Move on. That makes people want to kill people, I promise you. It makes people want to kill people when people never want to give them, but they give somebody else. Yeah, 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 but she makes people want to kill people, I promise you. I have, every, I have everything anyway. I'm, look, I'm looking to just upload my content now. <coughs> I'm looking to work. I'm looking to work all night long, man. I'm alone. I say my music's coming up, but I feel my music is too much pressure now to even do music, man. But what I want to do, I want to upload my content into YouTube. Just upload my three-hour busking performance online into YouTube. I pressure these people, pressure these people online, pressure these people, pressure these Serbian people. Oh, I mean you never want to give me money, 
I mean, oh, my, I mean, you guys can watch me online, and that's it. <clears throat> I mean, if they don't want to give me money, I don't want to send them one link in my life. I mean, that's it, man. I don't want to fucking reply to him anyway. I'll pick I over them. <laughs> pick I over them. I never, I, never, I never fucking need them. I never fucking need them. I just reply to new people online, that's it. Actually, I'll, I'll, that's the best way. I'll ask Jesus Christ. What Jesus Christ says, that's the best way. Or should I just reply to new people with links only? <laughs> or should that's it, yeah? I never, I never message mentors anymore online. I never message any mentors online, mate. Or should I never deserve my messages either? <coughs> or should that's it? Or should I think they're too good? Or should others are too afraid? Or should, if you think you're too good, I mean, I never reply to you. I never fucking contact you. And if you think you're too afraid of me, and if you're too afraid of me, I never reply to you, and I never fucking message you. And if you're someone from the past, I never, I never reply to you. Or that's it. Or should I only reply to you if you're someone new who messages me? And I give you one link only. Or that's it. I never fucking reply to you anymore on that point. <clears throat> I mean, what do I look for? I, I look for nothing from you, mate. Or that's it. You understand? Or she, yeah. So every single day I'm looking for a better way. See this employment provider, I want to see what they're doing to me. I want to understand anyway that nothing can do anything to me, man. I mean, if always comes to worse with that, the very point thing, I just get a 9-to-5 job, man. I never need a 9-to-5 job, man. But that's the thing, man. Then I just understand straight away that all the 9-to-5 money, all that 9-to-5 money goes into events. And it's pouring into events again and again. Or should I say, I just keep pouring in all that money into events and I never fucking care about them. <coughs> or that's how I do. I feel anyway that what's happening with my life is I never work more than five years in this life, mate. I work more than five years, but I never work more than five years in a 9 to 5 job. I work 24 7 always, mate. Or that's how I see life, mate. I see life differently than them. <coughs> I'm making sure <coughs> I'm making sure I just lift myself in my communicational skills that's what I do man making sure that what my life is about it's a different way of life I'm making sure I'm learning I'm learning something different but as I see life I'm looking that nice and beautiful way of life man I mean that, I mean that life where you're just enjoying and you're just look I mean you're just looking at life differently. You're just making sure that you have a beautiful persona with yourself. And you're just making sure that you're learning from everything that you're doing. And you're just enjoying yourself along the way. To make sure that you have more enough success all the time to succeed. See I've already done hundred and forty I've already done hundred and twenty four courses with busking. So I'm understanding that no matter what, it's more how it is. So I'm just looking to see that those people at the deployment training over there, definitely talk about something over here. And they're showing me over here that they won't let me be. But they have nothing else to do, mate. <laughs> Which they can do nothing to me. I feel as though that there's a woman there who's actually trying to get to understand that. Which that's it. I see other people who never wish me a happy birthday at all. And they understand it's my birthday too. But that's a big revenge on me. And guess what, Prashad, thank you. I thank you for everything I've done for you in terms of life over here. I said that I never wish them a happy birthday ever again. <laughs> I understand that, but guess what? <clears throat> when it comes a bitch, and what's going to happen with them, is they're going to watch me become more successful, regardless. And that's it. So no matter what I feel, the other people are in on this, and they're wishing me no happy birthday. And it's very cruel. And it's very cruel to me. They never do that to me. Or she makes me feel that I have. An, I mean, it makes me. Or she makes me actually feel that I have nobody except I. Or they have no word I. I never want to teach them anything in life. I never want to teach them anything. I never want to give them ideas, man. Or she, I never want to give them ideas. I'm giving I ideas, I mean. I'm doing this for I, man. I'm never doing it for them. They're very cool people, man. 
Right, now, because of that, I want to make sure... Now, somehow, I want to make them more jealous, but how can I make them... Ask Jesus Christ how to make them more jealous of me. Well, Jesus Christ says, just talk more words, and love you. I just talk more words, I talk more words all day long. I love you. I mean, I just want to understand straight away. I, I, I want them to recognize that, mate. I, I, I want them to see that they're so jealous, mate. What should you do? Well, that's like Jesus Christ. <laughs> Where he wants to make people so jealous, so they kill him. <laughs> Which, yeah. <clears throat> Which, that's the way. I'm sure that with me, I make sure always I'm just going and doing a greater job anyway. I make sure I want to go and achieve a greater way of life with. Uh, I want to have more kids than them. I definitely want to have more kids than them. I definitely want to have more kids than all of them. I want to have more money than all of them. I want to have more trouble than all of them. I want to be more popular than all of them. I want to have more fans than all of them. Which that's coming up. Which that's all coming up. I want to look better than all of them. Which that will be that way. I never again want to reply to them, even if they fucking contact me. Which is that? Which will be? Which that's something where they can come in to just tease me around? But I guess why not? Which that's more I might. Will be that way? I feel that nice beautiful WhatsApp page gives me a freedom, mate. So it's a beautiful way, mate. I'm just doing a greater job anyway, so as I go and do my job greater and greater, I'm always looking for different scenarios and different ways of life, mate. I'm looking to understand something that helps me grow, and that's it. And let's have a look over here. I'm looking to just see what's going on always about my life. So I can focus upon helping myself to succeed. Is what you guys need to do. But I'm learning anyway. I'm learning how to just be alone. And I'm not saying how they're afraid. I see. I see they have I here. But since they have I, I realize they're never chasing I really. Which that's the thing. Whereas they're very in confusion about life. Which that's the thing. I mean, they never deserve I then. Which if they have I and they never chase I, what can you say? I do better. <clears throat> but those people who never want to wish happy birthday, which that's, I mean, that's a big laugh for them. Which that's really, I mean, that's them actually laughing at me. Yeah? Which they're laughing at me big time. And my boss will that too. But that's the thing, man. Which it's coming up where I never wish them happy birthday, and guess what happened? Which was great, or I realized we're great even. Which was great even now. We move on. I mean, what is their birthday anyway? <laughs> I have to ask their birthday anyway. I have to ask their birthday for that one. I guess I'll move on. I never need the words, man. I never need the words. I'm still alive, aren't I? I'm learning something different anyway. But guess what? I'm learning how to win, man. I'm winning anyway. And what I want to do now is I want to focus on making my music, man. I want to make sure that I can just go and upload that content online. And I can go on Netflix, man. I mean, guess what? I have to go upload my mentors videos and photos. I have to do that, mate. And I can do that now. And then I rotate it to the nice little fantasy list. And then guess what? Actually then, I have to rotate everything again. I'm just going to do Netflix. And then I go do my nice and beautiful way of life. I'll do my nice and beautiful life over here too. Uh, I push back soccer, I push, push the soccer, I push it back all the way, man. <clears throat> a little bit that way. I have plenty of time, man. Which is something tells me I have more than enough time, man. I do everything, man. Oh, well, let's go do my nice and beautiful mentors list, mate. I did, let, I did a mentors list, but guess what? Push, yeah, yeah. Which I have to, I have to promote these people. I feel that they deserve promotion. As soon as I promote them once, man, I can say, hey, I promote you over here. See, I mean, let's have a look over here. I have Robert Kiyosaki. I have Robert De Niro. See, Robert De Niro over here is an individual who's an actor. And he deserves a promotion. So I'm just learning, yeah? I'm just learning to see what's going on. I never die, man. I'm just learning differences. But it's getting warmer around here as well. See, Robert De Niro is around 77 years of age now. 
I see he's in an upcoming movie, Wash Me in the River. And also, he's an American actor and producer and director. And he's particularly known for his nine collaborations with filmmaker Martin Scorsese. See Scorsese. So he's known with the actual filmmaker of Martin Scorsese and the recipient of various accolades. I'll let it So it's Robert Anthony De Niro Jr. And I'll let it I want to make sure that I can go. <coughs> and just see him over here. Let's have a look at him over here. I see his photo right here. I should just go switch on to do over here. Watch that one now. Watch that one there. Watch that one there. And let's say let be. Watch it's more how I feel, man. I feel that I just go and do my life much greater, man. I do my life much greater, but that's just how I feel, man. I feel different. I feel amazing. I feel how I just go and really I, I lift my vibe. I lift my vibe, but I feel they really never care about what I'm doing. Which guess what, Russia, they never care about what I'm doing. I mean, they care upon how they can succeed with what I'm doing. <laughs> Which that's what they care about. Russia, they care about my ideas, so that they succeed, but never for I. They're saying, Russia, Russia, they never care. I mean, they're never coming for I over here. Russia, they're coming for themselves, mate. I mean, they're coming to learn something from themselves, and never for myself. My shoulder, that's the way it is. <sighs> I understand. My shoulder, I feel that day, over here, I caught them out. I caught them out here, and they feel like trash over here. I say, oh, I see you guys. Which they want to come see me more, but they don't want to wish me a happy birthday. See, I see it, mate. They're also known as Robert. In. See Robert De Niro. See L and B. I have to put Robert De Niro that he's also known. I just copy that information a little bit that way. See Robert Anthony De Niro Jr., also known as Robert De Niro, also known for his nine collaborations with filmmaker Martin Scorsese, and he is the recipient of various accolades. Hi, Amy. And what I do now, mate, I'm just going to do life, mate. I do life differently, I'm selecting photos, I'm just uploading different people into the greatness list, mate. I'm promoting people differently, man. I'm looking for different people always. But then people see this is leadership by me, and this here, which I see, they're coming for I over here. Which are strictly coming for I over here, because I'm suddenly promoting other people. And that's the thing, man. Whereas uh, since I'm doing that, I understand that if you promote other people, then they come for I only. Or they come for your I. But if you promote yourself, then they come for themselves, mate. Not for you, but for themselves and their own I, mate. So if you promote I, then they come for I. But if you promote other people, then guess what? I mean, they come for other people, mate. But they actually come for you then. But if they're coming for you here, which it's more, you're showing them a different side to you here. And you're showing them that you are much better than them over here and they'll be that way. I realize although they're never coming for you in a way of I, but they're coming for you in a way of making a great reputation, right? Because you're promoting other people, that's why. I see that now. I see how if you promote other people, then you're somebody who has a great lifestyle overall anyway. So you have nothing to lose. So now this guy over here, this is Kim Kyle. I see this is Kim Kiyosaki. See Kim Kiyosaki. See 
see Kim can I see Kim Kiyosaki. See now she's Robert Kiyosaki's wife. And she's someone that deserves also to be in a promotion over here. And I wanna see where I wanna see her Wikipedia man. Where is her Wikipedia? The thing is over here I feel that no matter what I've been losing over here in terms of updates man, I want you to understand that. I want you to understand that no matter what I have to go and read these people's hearts man. But guess what, brush it's more how I feel. Right now is the time to do so. And guess what? You go and do it. I feel that no matter what, it's more how I feel. I feel that. It's much better for me to just go and continue. Like, hold on. Which is much more how I feel. I like that. I feel that no matter what, it's more how I feel. Just let it be. I'm just go and do it. I better make sure that I can go and do my Instagram. And as I do my Instagram, I read something, man. I read something as I do my Instagram, or I read personally. I can either go in audio, I can read audios, man, or mentors, man. I mean, what's much better? Well, it's much more how I can pick, I can pick and choose, man, what to do around here. And see that I can promote my nice and beautiful melodies over here, or be able to read with mentors while I'm doing Instagram, or I actually understand this, that as I do Netflix, I do music composition, but as I do my Instagram, I read with my mentors, man. A little bit that way. I shall mix it up a bit and understand straight away how I feel, man. I feel different, but the life that I have is getting much better in my words, man. I shall I'm happy to go away from this world, man. A little bit this way. I mean, you call this life, man. When you call this life where I have to be alone speaking to you. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's life, huh? I mean, is that, I mean, that, I mean, is that well, life, huh? I mean, that's life, huh? And what else is there to do, man? I have to speak up anyway. I have to talk anyway. But without talking up more, there's no fucking life, mate. I mean, what's much better? I mean, is it talking to you or having sex with a beautiful woman, mate? I mean, what's better? I, mean, I guess what? I've been mean, talking up some more. I've been mean, talking up overall is much better in terms of words. I'm mean, talking more words is much better. So let's have a look at Roku Saki's advertisements over here, man. I want to be able to promote myself differently. Make sure always I'm learning, yeah? I'm learning to just go and grow myself regardless of what's happening, man. I want to go and see that nice and beautiful way of life, mate. See, Robert Kiyosaki. Well, what can you do, man? I mean, I have to study alone. I have to be alone, man. If I can be alone. I can be alone. I have no worries. I'm just getting smarter now. I'm getting smarter with what's happening around the world. I'm just going really, really... I continue my words. I, I continue my words in different ways. And as I go and really, really... I've been a nice and beautiful person in ways of life. And that's why I'm understanding straight away I'm learning, yeah? I'm learning different aspects. And as I'm actually doing something to improve myself, I'm reading now as well with my mentors. And I'm just reading to see exactly what's happening. So no matter what I do is I'm learning. I'm learning that nice and beautiful aspect of life, man. But Kim Kiyosaki, and that's all. I mean, let's have a bit. I mean, a little bit, right? I have to go see the Merrill Compass over here with all these people, man. I mean, that's a big study, man. I have to go study all these people and how they've actually promoted themselves right now, man. And I want to learn something different too, man. But now, as I go and grow myself anyway, I make sure to educate myself and other people always to go and understand how people can talk better and how they can actually go and do something different for themselves to make sure that they're doing a greater job, yeah? So as I go and do a greater job, I'm learning. I'm learning how to talk with other people. But if you want to talk with other people better, then the best thing you can learn from this situation or any kind of situation, you just listen and talk much more. And talk and talk over other people. But guess what? I mean, what else can you do, mate? I mean, you can actually read. I mean, you can read while you're talking all day long, mate. And you're as you're fucking walking in somewhere, you can read. I mean, you can read any time, mate. I mean, read at any time you can. But specifically, I can understand that as I walk along somewhere, 
I, I love to just walk along, man, and just talk, man. And just a little bit. I love everything, man. The thing is, just the way it is, man. I mean, guess what? I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that. I have more enough time, you know, to succeed. But what else can you do, man? I mean, the, the whole, I mean, the whole point is understanding. If you focus on promoting yourself differently, then guess what happens? I mean, you have to understand straight away to just grow yourself anyway. And go, I mean, just grow yourself, man. I mean, grow yourself anyway. I mean, learn how to just promote anyway. And that way you're understanding. I mean, you're understanding what people are talking about. See Eric Cantona. See Eric Cantona. See Eric Cantona. See, this guy's a funny guy. Because Ferguson taught him over here to go fucking hit somebody over there at the stadium. <laughs> I was just crazy. I mean, with Eric Cantona, I see Alex Ferguson taught him to fucking go hitting the crowd over there. <laughs> Oh no, no, no. really Eric Cantona. Oh he told himself this. Ferguson's one of the bypassers over here. Uh, oh I mean, Ferguson's one of the ones that agrees with it. We have to agree with it anyway. I mean, if it wasn't for Alex Ferguson, I oh just cross this. Oh if it was never for Alex Ferguson for this one, oh Eric Cantona would have never done this goal, man. I'm sure he would never be able to achieve this goal for himself unfortunately because Eric Ferguson was there with him. <laughs> but you understand? It was just a big goal that Eric Cantona had man. It's a big goal to hit the crowd man. I said yeah yeah this guy over here. I love him anyway. I'm learning something, I'm learning something. <laughs> See Maradona. See Alec Ferguson was the one that talks him into it. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. and that's it. But that's what you need to do, man. I mean, you guys have to focus on understanding that if you want to help yourself to succeed differently, man. I guess what I brought you this one here. I should go for it, man. I and mean, go for it. I mean, it's just how it is, man. I, I still love the photo, man. Well, if you want to do something nice and beautiful for yourself, I guess what I brought you have to go and focus on understanding straight away. And what is much greater anyway? I'm focusing on a greater way of life, mate. I'm doing something nice and beautiful, man. But every single day, I'm understanding straight away how it feels, man. I have to, I have to answer my mother. I have to, I have to, actually, I have to. I'll say, are you there? Yes. Hi, what are you doing? I'm just over here with my nice and beautiful life over here. So I'm just making sure that I can go and do my nice and beautiful music production and making sure I'm learning something to make sure that I'm doing that nice and beautiful life. Expe I'm just talking the nice beautiful life expectancy over here of uh, being a star to make sure that I can go and grow myself differently so I can go and do something nice and beautiful. Where are you, Daddy? I'm just over here at the hostel over here in Sydney. And I'm just making sure I'm just going and doing something over here with my... Where? I'm just here at the hostel. I'm just doing something here with myself over here. Hospital? I say I, I say I went to the hostel and I, I need I need to ask you are you able to send me one hundred dollars because I just left my Bolshevik dad and he wants to fight me. Dad wants to fight you, daddy. I say he wants to fight me because I. Why are you in hospital? I say I'm not I'm never in hospital. I'm I'm saying that he wants to be violent with me, so I want to I left the house, so I just need to have one hundred dollars. Doesn't matter, daddy, but he doesn't want he doesn't want to bash you. See? I understand all that. I left. I left the house because he doesn't. Well, he doesn't need to do that. You, I, know, you have to understand. I feel. I feel. For, I feel. Yeah. I feel that I understand that for, with him. I understand he wants to bash me because I, I left the house in a way that so I can get away from him. So I never cause violence. So here I need some hundred dollars. I just need a hundred dollars to be able to go and live for an extra three days over here and more. Are you doubted here? I see what. Where are you now? I'm st I'm just at the hostel here in Redfern. In the hospital. I mean, I'm at the hostel. I'm at the hostel. A hostel. I thought you said hospital. Okay. I see. I'm at the hostel. Why are you like? What's wrong with you, Sid? I see. I see the thing over here. You, you know, this is this is very obvious that you're gonna do something for me, you know, and so that you can come to Europe, but you still haven't done that. I see, I understand that, you but... You said that you got to go to your doctor. I see, I see the doctor over here never wants to see me. I, I was talking to him. No, 
you do go to Valleyport, Daddy. I'm saying he never wants to talk to me anymore. Daddy, no, no wonder no one wants to talk to you because you're sitting to nobody. Do you understand? I understand Mom you, but... I will take you back and I will be behind you 100%. Please go and do what I tell you to do. I, I, I'm doing what you, you know? do. I'm doing what you said, You but... see that the way you're going... Look, Daddy, don't fight with your mum, okay? I've already got problems and stress in my life and you're your one I every day, you know? Please go to the to the doctor. Let him give you once a month injection, Daddy. Once a month. That's it. I see, it's I not like look. Some people take twenty tablets a day. My God, and no one's complaining except you for once a month injection. That will fucking change your life. It'll change my life. You're fighting that. What? You are. And Mama took you to Kama, Mama took you, went to Serbia, went with a check, you fight. You were fine, and then you just decided to put back your own hands and do what you want, but it's not going well. You're jumping from one place to another place, and you know it's the truth, but please, I want to help you. I want to bring you here. I want you to... Go and have fun in your life. Not like that. From one hostel to another. From one hostel to another. See that. Mom loves you. She cries for you every day. Please listen to me. You're my only option for you to listen to me once. Just once. And Mom loves you a lot. But you just don't listen to me. <laughs> Please listen to your mum. <laughs> just once. Mama never seen her. Mama loves you so much. I love you so much. They don't cry. Mum hasn't forgotten you. <laughs> I'm behind you, you know. I pray for you. Just once do what your mum says. You can come here when they open the borders and be with mum. Your life will change. Not like that from one hostel to another, running away from something that you don't even know where you're running away from. <laughs> Both of us went through hell in life. Both of us went through hell in life. Both of us. We have to help each other. Yes? Yeah, I understand you. Can you hear me? I can hear you. Yeah. I can hear you. Yeah. But we have to help each other. Do you understand? I understand you. But you have to, Daddy, go and get your injection. You'll be fine. Just take it once a month, my God. I would take fucking five if I needed a month. Five, I would take. Do you understand? Uh, I would take it. But if it's going to make you feel better and think straight up, I would take it. Oh my God, you went and took drugs and you didn't ask nobody. Weird, look where it brought you. And you said that you would never take it and you never did, but you don't, you don't want to take once a month injection. People take tablets every day, 10 a day, and they still live and have a normal life. All you have to do is one injection a month. That's it. I'm here, I'm here. See, when, when I send money on Western Union, I have to put an address, but you don't have an address. I do have an address. Yeah, but you have to have the address that's on your ID. 
I see, I see, I see my new address is with Sendlink over here. I can show them evidence to support my address with Sendlink. Teddy, where's your license for the car license? I see, the car license is somewhere that is my address in Cairns. So, do you want that one? Well, how do you take money out? I, I can show you. I can show you Ken's license. It's no worries. Your license. I sh I'll give you my license number over here. I'll what? show you. I'll show you my license. I'll show you a photo. I'll send you the photo. Uh, has your license expired? I see. I see. I have my license for the next ten years or more. How? Where did I you? See, where did you? I see. I where see, did you? Um, where did you extend your license? I'm saying I'm saying that I've done that already last year anyway. Daddy. Daddy. I'm here. I love you, Daddy. I love you too. I love you too. But you have to be have to do what I tell you. You have to. You have to. You have to, Daddy. That's your only. That's the only way that you're gonna be okay and come back to Europe and have a normal life here. Not jumping from one place. Look at Bia. Did you see Psycho the Bia Bicatine coin that you were talking about eight years ago? I seen I seen Cyclone Tanya from Chopper. Uh, you remember the Bikoti coin that you were talking about eight, nine years ago? <clears throat> remember? I see, I see. Which one's the that? The Cycro... The coin, that, that coin that you lost in all that seed. Remember? A long time ago, you wanted to put money on it? B-O-T... Big T... Big... Big coin. Big time... Coin. I see, so you're the Bitcoin. I see the Bitcoin. No, I'm not. But you remember when you wanted to go in? Look, one, one Bitcoin now is 52,000 euros. I see, yeah, but that Bitcoin is a scam. It's not a scam. People are living out of it now. But when if you put $200 in it then, eight, nine years ago, you would have had half a million today. And more. Yeah. I already have more than that anyway. No, you don't, Daddy. If oh. you had more, you wouldn't be asking for $100. So stop the crap and stop the bullshit, Michelle. You don't have that money. You don't have money to live off. It's all this it's all this sickness in your head that's telling you that you have, but you don't have it. And you won't listen to nobody. You have to go and get that injection. It makes you think straight up. Do you understand? I, see, I, see. I don't know how to get through to you. No one can get through to you anymore. Why are you doing that to us? Why are you killing all of us? We're trying to help you. And you keep on running away from us. You promised me last time. You promised. But you broke the promise. You don't stick to your promises. If you go to Valleyport, you ring me up and I want to talk to him. Yeah? I have no worries, but listen, I, I, I'm already showing you that he never wants to talk to me because the message over here says that he never wants to talk to me. Which message? I mean, from Dr. Valleyport. You go to another psychologist, Daddy. You don't need him, you just tell him. <clears throat> I'm diagnosed with schizophrenia. I had a doctor that I didn't believe what he was giving me, blah, blah, blah. Let him check you up and he'll see your records. He'll find your records somewhere, Daddy, because who knows where those papers are that you took and threw away. You don't even have those papers no more. Do you understand? I understand you. But when are you going to do that? I, I can do it very soon. When is soon? I mean, very soon. I, I have to do it within the next week. 
is that going to be another promise that you're going to break to your mum or I, what? I never break your promise. I'm making sure I'm always doing yes, what you... Yes, you did, Danny. You didn't go. And you didn't even tell me. Mm. You only call when you need the money. That's it. I want to know what's going on with you. I don't... Because I just pray to God that you're okay. I'm scared that something's going to happen to you. I, I want you <laughs> because to... Because I've only got you. I, I want you to I've realize... I've only got you. Don't do that to me. I want you to realize, Mum, that I never need these medications that you're trying to, let's say, talk to yes, me about. That, the thing is, I mean, the thing is that you're trying to always. I mean, you're always trying to do something great for me every single day, and I'm focusing on making sure you understand that I'm not sick. But you're trying to always make me go to me. I mean, you're always trying to make me go to these people in terms of the doctors over here, and because the doctors are trying to kill me as well, and you're trying to kill me as well. I'm well focusing, yeah, no one's killing you. I'm making sure I just I understand that what's important for myself. So. Right. Is loving my life. I have to love my life differently. I have to make sure that you're nice and beautiful, and I have to make sure that every single day I'm learning. I have to, I have to learn with you. I have to, I have to learn every single time. What are you laughing at? I have to laugh differently. I have to, I have to go and I have to make sure every single day I'm learning how to go around the world, travel with a woman somewhere. I mean, I understand my biological mom is very happy differently, and there's always something different happening, and I'm making sure always that there's a nice and beautiful life for me somewhere and because I'm learning something different I'm learning that nice Daddy, and beautiful attitude it. but the attitude stop of something it. nice I mean that's the whole point I mean the whole point is learning something different yeah I mean all I have to do is start the conversation with you in a way that you understand how you learn through my communication oh, words stop. and as you learn with me then you have to learn how to yearn you have to learn how to understand your communicational signals because when you're talking somehow, I mean, somehow it's coming through to me in a way that you're learning how to overcome sickness. And because you're learning how to overcome sickness of whatever it is with yourself, then you're learning. And guess what? I mean, did you see her? I mean, she, I mean, she did hang up on me anyway. And that's the thing, man. I feel that no matter what, that she's screwing herself over here. I mean, what's going on with her, I have no clue, man. But she's just gone all over the place. I mean, listen to me, I mean, if I understand to let her speak all the way, mate. Which all she's going to fucking do, mate. Say, give her the medication. Like, if I, I mean, do you hear me speaking over her? I mean, I'll just fucking speak over her from now on. I never fucking want to listen to her, mate. But as soon as I give her some fucking words of advice or something like that, she never wants to fucking listen, mate. I mean, do you understand? I mean, she never cares about my voice, and she never cares about my knowledge either. So, guess what? I mean, she's losing her word. She is now losing her word eye, mate. I mean, she, I mean, she's just lost, mate. I feel, I feel that no matter what, I can feel with this, mate. I understand that either way that Jesus Christ can understand this. But guess what? I mean, do you see her? I let her talk for a bit. I look like a stupid idiot if I let her talk more than me in a conversation, mate. I promise you, I look like a stupid idiot if I let her talk to me in more than a conversation. Because you can see I look like a fucking stupid idiot, mate. Did you hear me? I was like, yeah, I'm here. I'm here. I mean, I look very stupid, yeah? I'm letting her talk to me. I'm letting her talk to see exactly where she's coming from. But guess what, I promise you, the more she fucking dominates the conversation, the more you're fucking believing her over me. So I never want to let that fucking happen again, mate. I fucking talk over and talk over and talk over her. And those people who fucking talk to me over the phone now, I'm talking fucking over them, always. I'm always fucking talking over them, much more, and much more, and much more. In this way, it's about me, and my, and I, only. Because I understand what's important is I understand something. I mean, she's never fucking teaching anything, mate. I mean, she's teaching about how she is, mate. I mean, she's never teaching about my life, mate. I'm teaching about my life. I mean, who do you want to believe, mate? Well, do you want to believe fucking her, or do you want to believe me? I'm probably sure Jesus Christ never fucking tells me to get on medication, mate. I mean, do you believe Jesus Christ tells you to get on medication? Nah, mate. Jesus Christ says that I am the way. Jesus Christ says the only cure to medication is talking the word I, mate. That's it. There's no such thing as medication other than the word I. But she has no courage to even talk to me. I mean, she's coughing over there. I mean, she's smoking cigarettes, man. I mean, she's doing something, man. I promise you. And I can say whatever I want, man. But the thing is, 
that she is so lost about communication and about skills and everything that I have no clue if she's laughing with me or laughing at me, mate. You understand? And she wants to send me a hundred dollars because I was asking for a hundred dollars, and at the moment, Russia she's clarifying one hundred dollars to me, but I was asking for two hundred dollars, mate. And guess what? I mean, because I did ask for one hundred dollars, I felt no matter what that, no matter what, that it's actually one hundred dollars now. Anyway, but the thing is, anyway, the, what's the thing about this? I mean, the thing about this is every single time she talks to me or anybody else talks to me now. I'm making sure you understand that who dominates that conversation wins you over, mate. But who won you over now? I mean, she never fucking wants to talk to me, mate. I mean, she just fucking hangs up, mate. I mean, this here? I mean, come on, man. I fucking win her over, mate. I just fucking talk over her, mate. I mean, every fucking conversation that she talks to me, or she, every fucking conversation that she talks to me with, I fucking talk more than her, mate. Or she's in the front of her, she front of her face, I talk more than her. In the face. Or she's like this. Or she's this is psychotic, mate. Which this means, never even fucking go over there, but ask Jesus Christ what to do. And Jesus Christ says, if you talk more than her, or she goes ballistic, mate. Or she never wants you to talk more, mate. I mean, did you hear me? I mean, she never wants me to talk more with her. Or she tells she fucking talks or nothing. Or that means something to me. Or that means never even go to Camino. Because she is a fucking lost one, mate. She's so lost about everything, mate. You understand? So, no matter what, although she didn't want me to talk more, because she wants me to fucking listen to her 500 years talk without me saying a word, mate. But she wants me to talk when she wants me to talk, mate. Which has power and control over me. And I feel that I never fucking want to go over there, mate. You understand? Know I've guess what? I've it's more how I feel. But Jesus Christ saying, let her be. Brushy, although, she's someone who has to wake up to herself. She has to wake up, for sure. For sure, if Jesus Christ goes over there, for sure, he may experience a life with her, where she may understand something, but she never wants to retaliate to Jesus Christ in a way that, you must understand, I feel that, I asked Jesus Christ about this, for sure, Jesus Christ says that if he goes over there, that Jesus Christ can always figure a way to be with her, in a way that, it's more how I am, I say. I feel that no matter what, it's more how I am. <coughs> I mean, guess what? I mean, she calls me, but look, don't look at her, man. I mean, she's fucking crying, mate. I mean, she's fucking I mean, the biggest actor in the world, mate, about what she does. I mean, she's an actor, mate. <laughs> I mean, she's the biggest actor in the world about what she says, mate. I mean, she's acting, I promise you. This is the funniest thing, man. But guess what, Brosha? The funniest thing is how she cries and cries and cries about me having to go on medication, mate. And she wants me to go on medication so much that she cries about it. <laughs> and the biggest actor in the world, mate. And guess what, I mean, I send a message over here on Brosha, she's willing. Brosha, right now? Brosha, nah. But she, guess what? I understand that Jesus Christ says, send it to her. Brosha, it's more how I have to ask anyway. But she never wants to fucking send me money, man. I have more money than that. I have more money than what I'm asking for, mate. I have fucking all the money in the world, mate. I have all the money in the world, Prashu, now. And guess what? Prashu, here, you guys believe something about her and what she said. That I was asking for money in terms of $100, yeah? she yeah, ask for more money from her always. I mean, why ask for money, yeah? I mean, why not? <laughs> why not ask for money, man? <laughs> I mean, do you want to believe her? I mean, you want to believe, I mean guess what? Prashu, it's more how I feel. I mean, I feel that you guys have to convince yourselves right here that money is something that is words and never fucking bank balance, mate. But your money is never plastic money. But your money is words. I mean, you guys must understand that. But if you understand something about life over here, then you have to understand how it feels to be someone greater. But if she never fucking looks at my message over here, but she gives me a call, mate. I mean, that's sus to me as well. And also, she... I mean, guess what? I said to her that the guy or the doctor was messaging me, but to understand, I, I said to her, I have the message here. And she said, go to someone else then. I mean, guess what? I mean, this is the biggest lie I've ever seen in my life, mate. I mean, Jesus Christ can see this. And this means there's some scarcity going on around her, but her word I, mate. 
<laughs> I said to her, I have the message right here. I convince her to go fucking elsewhere with this one. But she convinces herself here. I mean, all she has to say, I mean, all she, she, I mean, all she has to do is say, shows me the message. I guess what I mean, all she has to understand is that if she says, show me the message, I mean, guess what I say, something else. But the thing is, I can read her. But the more she goes that way, the worse it is, man. I'm sure she, she's very dishonest with me. She's very dishonest with me about life. I mean, that's like telling your little baby that's just born today to get on medication today. Well, how fucking cruel is that, mate? Or she with words. And then she cries about it too. It's like you're telling your kid to go on medication and then crying about it. And your boy, I mean, your little baby is just born today. And you're crying for that baby to go on medication. You're just crying. And the reason is because you're crying. Yeah. <laughs> that's her, mate. I mean, that's my biological mum. Did you hear her? And she don't want to fucking talk to me, man. And I guess what, I learned something that my cans fucking license can receive all these nice and beautiful ways of life, mate. And I guess what? I'm learning how to just go and dwell upon something better, mate. But as I go and dwell upon something better for myself, I realize that I feel that other people over here, because of my Bolshevik family, or should they fucking argue with me and I feel like... Or should I feel that no matter what that day, are trying to control me with words over here. And they're trying to tell me what to do with words. But guess what? I feel it's so dangerous around them. That what happens with this? I win the conversation. I get the fuck out of there. And move on, mate. <laughs> Gosh, that's it. I learned something more than that, mate. I learned that I understand straight away. That I can never rely on them for anything, mate. But it's always like that, isn't it? But it's always... Or it's always the way of we understand about life where people in terms of life and how their families are. Or it's always something about their family, about how their family never fucking wants them to succeed. But do you see how my family in terms of my biological dad and mum never want me to succeed for fuck's sake? You know what I'm saying? guess what? Whereas my biological dad, to this extent, wants me to succeed in a way of giving me free accommodation. Well, she, yeah, and my biological mom wants me to succeed to the point of what? <clears throat> well, she not. I feel, I feel that she never wants me to succeed, mate. I feel my biological dad wants me to succeed. I feel him, I feel him right now. Well, she, guess what? I feel because I said that, it's much more how I feel. I don't want to be around him. I feel I don't want to be around him because I feel that he may kill me, man. I feel he may kill me, and Jesus Christ says so too. <laughs> Understand? I don't want to fucking be around him. I'm doing this for safety, man. I ran away, man. I ran away from him. I mean, for fuck's sake, man. I feel my vulture mom, I feel she can murder me, mate. I feel that she can murder me. Uh, Bruce, guess what? Bruce, she is telling me all this. Yeah, as well. <clears throat> so, guess what? I mean, I feel these other people can murder me too. You understand? What's the big deal now? I mean, the fucking big deal is I understand something now. I understand I am taking it way out of proportion, mate. I feel, you must understand, that it's so scary, mate, to be in this world with people who have no word I, mate. Which that's what it is, man. But what do I want to do now? I mean, what can I do? I ran away from fucking my bullshit dad for 50 million years, mate. And more. <clears throat> I have to go and do this, man. I have to go and let it be, mate. I never want to go backwards, man. I'm pushing forwards now. I'm pushing forwards. And guess what, bullshit? The thing is here. If I stay at my bullshit dad's house. Well, she guess what? Well, she, everybody has no word I accept I. I'm aware of this, but guess what? Bro, this is why I feel, mate. I feel the need to just let me, mate. I just be here, mate. I be here. I mean, I, I mean, I, I mean, I understand what's going on. 
understand that. But I'd rather just let it be now. Or just Jesus Christ feels that everybody can come now. <laughs> I mean, I mean, guess what? I'd rather go with my bullshit dad than other people. Then. But, I mean, where's Jesus Christ? I mean, Jesus Christ says the same thing, or? Or she, no, no, no. Or she, listen. Or she, Jesus Christ says, the thing is that my bullshit dad did help me more than those other people, man. But the thing is, man, I feel safer alone. I'd rather go with I than other people, mate. I'd rather go with I than my biological dad. I'd rather go with I than other people. I'd rather go with I than my biological parents overseas, mate. <coughs> I'd rather go with I than all my family. I'd rather go with I over anything else, mate. What's here? What is even Jesus Christ says, bro? What do I do now? Well, she my biological mum causes me, and she's trying to get me on medications. And I have over 18,000 photos of myself, of as a fashion model, mate. And over a thousand hours of talking online, that she wants to get on medication, mate. And she's fucking lunatic, mate. And she's schizophrenic, mate. I can see it, mate. And she's a big schizophrenic, and she's going to deny that, too. I promise you. And yet again, my biological dad is helping me more than my biological mum, mate. I promise you. I feel them, I feel that she is losing her word eye with everything, mate. Which this means that she's ready to die, mate. And she's ready to go as well, mate. <coughs> Which is very unhappy, then. So what I want to do is a little bit this way. I see Jesus Christ saying, listen, if you go to your biology dads, then you understand what's going on around here. Yeah. I understand that Jesus Christ is saying, listen, if you want to go, then go. I mean, how scary is that? I mean, how many times does he make me do this, man? I mean, guess what? I mean, guess what? I mean, now I understand something. I understand it's I, mate, who's doing it, and never anybody else, mate. But it's more how I feel, I understand the truth, mate. I understand how stupid this world is, man. I'd rather be alone like this forever, man, than be with other people, mate. I promise you. I promise you, in my mum's womb, I felt so safe, mate. I felt safe, I guess what, I promise you, there was a time over here where I felt safe all the way, mate. I feel so safe for me. When Jesus Christ understands that. I mean, feel, I felt so safe too. He says. <laughs> I stay, I remember how it is. I mean, I was just sleeping in the mum's room, man. I should say, I'm, I'm, I'm wondering, where am I? <laughs> I'm like a little alien, mate. <laughs> You understand? Yeah, I'm sure everything's dark in there, man. I feel something moving. <laughs> I feel something moving around there. See, I'm, I feel I'm safe. <laughs> mm. Let it be now. I focus on saying that my move now is the quicker I just go around Australia now, the better, man. I feel much better now I go around Australia. The people from watching that, man. Biggest one. I feel just go. But guess what? Alright, so if I stay here in Sydney, mate, I don't want to be in Sydney, mate. I feel that they are rampaging on me, mate. <coughs> I feel other people are rampaging on me, but the times come, mate. I mean, the times come for me to just get my DJ dick and just fucking go around the world, mate. I promise you. But this time, it's just I, mate. It's just I this time and you, mate. But she's all new now. But she's going around the world now. But she, I feel that any of those women who, from the past who come with me are getting away from that crowd, mate. Because that's how it is with everybody. Unless you're part of that crowd 
And the woman goes for you, but you're part of that crowd, mate. Oof. But you're dead to have each other, mate. <coughs> Watch that's 1% of them, mate. Watch that's a little tiny bit of them. I, I understand, I clarify everything with this one. I mean, what are they? I mean, who the fuck are they? I mean, they have no YouTube channel. They have no fucking social media at all. Watch their social media. Never even fucking counts as a social media, mate. You understand? Which their social media counts with it's fucking my social media, mate. I promise you. That's I mean that's all I see, mate. <coughs> but yeah. For sure, their social media has to be my social media and nothing else, mate. For sure, listen to me now. I feel that way, mate. I feel a big rampage here, mate, on them, mate. Or should they're stupid. I mean, they're so stupid with the Instagram that Danny Milovic says, you guys have to be like Danny Milovic right now. And then fucking social media is never fucking counted because they have no fucking business, man. I'm sure. Or should they fucking Instagram? Or should they fucking private Instagrams? Or should they fucking have nothing on that Instagram to show you in life? I mean, they have no buy link. What the fuck? When do you count that as Instagram? I'm sure I never fucking count that as Instagram, man. Or should I fucking Instagram with no buy link with two posts? I fucking never count that as an Instagram, mate. I never fucking count that as an Instagram. I'm never lying. I count Grant Canone's Instagram. I count Pika Tolly's Instagram. I count Tony Robbins' Instagram, mate. I count, I count Dean Graziosi's Instagram. Watch these Instagrams and my Instagram is a count, mate. Watch you can see it. It's fucking worth it. Because we have a business. They fucking have no business, man. <coughs> 